But first, we're continuing to follow breaking news. Two boaters who set out from our area found safe after they were missing for days. NBC 10 Jersey Shore Bureau reporter Ted Greenberg's been following this story all day. He's joining us from our Jersey Shore Bureau. Ted. Well, Jim, certainly a happy ending to this story. The men were headed on a journey to the Florida Keys, but late this afternoon, we learned their boat was found in the ocean more than 200 miles east of Delaware. Still trying to figure out how all of this happened, but here's what we know right now. 76-year-old Joe D. Tommaso, his dog, and 65-year-old Kevin Hyde left on Kevin's 30-foot sailboat on November 26th from a marina just outside Cape May. The last time anyone talked with them was on December 3rd. At that time, everything was said to be okay. They had just left Oregon Inlet, North Carolina. Well, the Coast Guard ultimately launched a, a massive search as the days went on with no one hearing from them. Earlier today, the Coast Guard had not found the men or the boat, but late this afternoon, we are told that they were, are, were spotted by a tanker crew. I, spotted, I talked a short time ago with the stepfather of Joe's two daughters. Um, they had blown off course. Um, they were found in the New York area. Uh, a tanker was going by, noticed the sailboat. Um, they were waving a green flag. Um, so they went over towards them. Um, they safely boarded the two of them and the dog onto the tanker. Um, and they are now transporting them to New York. Uh, we were so ecstatic that they were found and they're safe. They said their health seemed to be okay. A little, they both seemed exhausted and a little weather beaten. Uh, so they're going to take them uh, to a hospital to get up, observe, make sure you know they don't have any hypothermia or anything like that. Now, the Coast Guard says the boat was found to be without fuel and power, which made their radio equipment, their navigation equipment like GPS, inoperable. However, again, they were found hundreds of miles off the coast of Delaware this afternoon by the crew of a tanker. The family says their prayers have been answered. The family of Joe there. Live in our Jersey Shore Bureau, I'm Ted Greenberg, NBC 10 News. What an ordeal for them. Ted, thank you for the update. Appreciate it.